Hey everyone, so I'm back with a new series of videos for OnePlus 6 and 60. As you guys already know, Android 11 will be announced soon. And after a lot of efforts, I thought to compile the best Android 10 rooms based on various categories and it depends how you guys feel about this series of videos. So do let me know in the comment section down below and your inputs will be considered. So in this video, let's have a look at some of the most stable vanilla Android 10 rooms for OnePlus 6 and 60 that are stable for everyday use. Do remember, these do not have much customization but if you are someone who just wants a stable room, then you can install any of these and leave your device. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first one in the list is Lineage OS. Well you must have heard of this name before, but if you haven't, let me tell you. Lineage OS is one of the oldest and most stable ROM there is for any Android device and that applies for OnePlus 6 and 62. You won't find any crazy customizations in this one, but you will get a plain solid ROM with all the features that actually work and work just fine. Anyways, coming to what I like about this ROM. Well, you don't get anything pre-installed, just basic stuff that is necessary and you get the choice to add anything you wish to. So more free space and whatever that is baked in is helpful. The battery backup is also great with this one and you will have no complaints there. There are many rooms that exist because of Lineage OS only, so you can understand the stability it has. You get frequent updates and patches, so your device stays up to date, even if you don't get updates from OnePlus. You will surely be on the latest security patch with this room, which is a great thing to have. What I don't like to be honest, well there isn't anything much, but I appreciate some more customizable stuff and a gaming mode because I'm used to such features. And maybe that's just me, but that isn't something big if all you want is a clean stock experience. So moving on to the next one, Paranoid Android. Well PA is one of the oldest rooms too, just like Lineage OS, and this is like the next step of what you could expect from a room. And like Lineage OS, you do get clean and pure stock Android 10, but it has some really good and necessary features that are really helpful. For example, face unlock and always on display with some customization and more. And whatever is provided, it's more than enough for someone who loves a stockish experience. But more than that, this room is quite close to Oxygen OS 10. The UI part and everything is neatly arranged. Plus they release a version only when it gets rock solid and ready to use. So you can expect the least amount of bugs with this one. The screen on time with this one is also undoubtedly good and I think you will appreciate what you get with it. A thing I don't like about this one is the absence of a gaming mode and that would make it a perfect alternative to Oxygen OS. As you even get face unlock which a lot of you already use. So I think it is one of the solid rooms for OnePlus 6 series. Before we move on to the next one. Do click on that subscribe button to stay notified about the latest videos from this channel. Moving on to the next one, Carbon Room. Well like the other two, this one is not a lot different. I used it last on my Nexus 5 and I love the stability it used to offer. Jump to the present and you still get the similar experience. The setup process was a bit different than the boring one we usually see. Other than that, you get all the necessary features and customizations like you get in Lineage OS. But you don't get any extra goodies like face unlock and a gaming mode, so do keep that in mind. But you do get one of the best screen on time with this one. Though I could manage more than 6 hours without gaming, there were no issues as such, no glitches or lags anywhere. Yes, some tiny things like battery percentage in status bar were not working properly, but I don't think that is something big and can be easily fixed with an update. So it's a pretty good package of stability and useful features only and I would prefer it for the best screen on time. It also supports OTA updates, so you do get the latest patches and stuff right on time. Performance wise, it does the job of running games to other apps really well. There were no issues as such and everything ran smooth, as expected. There were no random reboots or crashes. So consider it the most if you want to get the best screen on time with occasional gaming. Coming to the next one in this list, Omni Roam. Well this is also one of the oldest and most loved custom room in the android ecosystem and I recommend it for the ultimate stability it offers in a decent package. It has all the features you would find in a stock room except gaming mode and face unlock. But other than that, it is a really smooth and stable room. You won't find any unnecessary features that take up your storage but a great clean looking UI with some omni specific features. 
This one gives around 5 to 6 hours of screen on time, depending upon the usage. So not a battery champ like Carbon, but you do get consistent OTA updates and add-ons, plus the latest security patches too. Not to forget the good gaming experience this ROM provides, the heat up was also well managed, and there were no problems whatsoever. You can consider this as an option if you want some of the Omni specific features and a balance of battery life and performance. You do get alert slider customization too if you were looking out for that. So I hope the Android 11 based Omni ROM will come out soon for our devices. Anyways, so these were some of the most stable vanilla Android ROMs and if you are someone leaning towards too little customization and more towards stability, I think you should prefer these ROMs for your OnePlus 6 and 60. So that's it for now. Do like this video if it helps you out and subscribe to stay notified. So I'll see you guys in the next one.